how to sell photography on Etsy. Hey guys, welcome to this new video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to sell your own products using this platform. So let's get started first by explaining the platform for you. So guys, Etsy.com is a platform where you can sell your own products or where you can buy the other seller's products. And as you can see in here, there are a lot of products in this platform and there are a lot of sellers behind these products making a lot of money. So in today's video, I'm going to teach you how to be one of these sellers and how to make a lot of money yourselves. So let's start by choosing one of these products just to show you an example of what I'm talking about and an example of what I'm going to teach you in today's video. So let's choose this product for example. I kind of like it. So let's check it for example. So guys, in today's video, I'm going to teach you how to create a shop page exactly like this one for your own products, how to choose or how to add the pictures of your product or the video if you have one. So guys, the videos in or the videos that you upload on Etsy, they have no sound in, no sound in them. So they are a mute videos just explaining the product for you. And you can upload as much pictures as you want or as many pictures as you want. And I will show you how to enter the price of the product as well. How to enter the description, the options like the size and how to, how to list all of the details about the product if it's handmade or not, the materials, the gemstones if you are selling jewelry, the style if it's recycled or not, if it's made to order or not if it's made, the gifts wrapping if it's available or not. And the last thing I'm going to teach you is how to set the shipping and return policies. So let's start from the first page. Let's close this one. Go to the main page. Go up. Go to the shop manager button in your top right. Then click on it. Then you will proceed to setting up your Etsy shop. And in order to do that, you will need to go through six steps. The first step is the shop preferences, then comes name in your shop, then stock in your shop, then you choose how you'll get paid, then you set up the billing or the payment processors, then you end with the shop security. So let's start from the first step, which is the shop preferences. And here you choose the shop's language, the shop's country, and the shop's currency. So I'm just going to change the shop's currency from the Moroccan dirham to the United States dollar. Then click on save and continue to proceed to the next step, which is choosing a name for the shop. So I'm going to choose this name. And as you can see, the name is already taken. You can choose one of these options or you can just add a number to the name. Keep changing the number until you see that the name is available or you can just choose one of the options down below you're free to do whatever you'd like with the name but for me i like to choose just to add a number so here it seems like all these names is already taken so i'm just going to choose photography by bob then click on save and continue to proceed to the next step, which is stock in your shop. And in here, you add some photos and details about your item. Fill out what you can for now. You'll be able to edit this later. So before we proceed to add in the photos and details about the item, let's first click on save and continue to see all of the required fields that we need to fill in order to proceed to the next step. And here, as you can see, we have four required fields. The first one is photos. You will need to upload at least one photo. Then we have the inventory. Here you will need to enter the price of the product. Then comes the listing details, where you will need to fill the title and all of these red fields and the same thing with shipping as well you will need to fill all of these fields so let's start from the first one which is photos 
and here add as many as you can so you can see every detail use up to 10 photos to show your items most important qualities and for some tips use natural light and low flash include a common object for scale show the item being held worn or used shoot against a clean simple background add photos to your variations so you can see all your options then we have the video bring your product to life with a 5 to 15 second video it could help you drive more sales the video won't feature sound so let your product do the talking and for some quick tips film wearable items on a model or show a functional item being used adjust your settings to record high resolution video aim 1480 pixels or higher crop your video after you upload it to get the right dimensions and if you want to learn how to make videos that sell you can just click on this link then for the listing details you tell the world all about your item and why they love it so we start with the title here let's enter a title for the product then you answer these three questions who made it you have three options to choose from i did a member of my shop another company or person let's go with i did what is it a finished product or a supply or tool to make things let's go with a finished product when did you make it you have three categories to choose from not yet made recently or vintage let's go with recently and here for the category you can just type the product's name and you will have a lot of categories to choose from let's go with the first one and here you will have some additional details to fill like the primary color the secondary color of the product the width height orientation framing home style the home style the occasion a holiday as well you can choose one in here let's go with the aid for example here you can choose the room subjects and the renewal options if you want to go with the automatic renewal which costs 20 cents each time or you want to choose the manual which is free and for me i prefer the manual then here you have the type of the product if it's a physical product or a digital product then for the description make sure to follow these tips to give your product a good description and for the price you enter the price in here then you have the shipping fill all of these red fields and the last thing is the return and the exchanges you can apply the 30 days policy or you can choose another one in here and that's it guys for today's video don't forget to like the video subscribe to my channel and share the video with your friends